yes. cruelty, cruelty to each other. Yeah. There wasn't yeah. much positive going on, was there? <laughs> <laughs> No, when you no, just think something positive is going to happen, it all falls apart again. Or do yeah, you think, oh no, oh my God. Yeah. I, I, I must admit, I have found it a very difficult read. And yes. I think if, if it wasn't for the group, I would have given up on it. Absolutely, um, yeah. I thought um, it was a brilliant book. I, I did 11 really hours, really so good. I didn't do it <laughs> I, think, I, I think that's a valiant effort, Mark, because it a, it's a whopping great book. Um, it is, yeah. And I have to admit, I, yeah, what you said, Carol, I, I looked on the Amazon reviews page yesterday to see what, what the feedback was. And, and I think it does fall very much into two camps. There are those that absolutely love it and think it was yeah. marvellous. And there are those that just, because of the, the subject matter and because of the, the way it's written, just found it just too heavy going and too... Yeah. Like you said, it was extremely interesting. Oh, yes. um, yeah. I thought it's a book that everybody should read. Yeah. I just wish it was shorter. Yeah. It's about something I knew nothing about. Me and too. Yes. Yeah. In the big, when I, I started, was so I, stunned. I just thought, good grief. You know, I just couldn't believe all this could be all this could have been happening. Yeah. But now, and to think it's happened in most of our lifetimes too. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 I mean, we, we knew nothing about it, did we? we I don't no. Know. No. And actually, I, 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 think, I think it's a book that everybody should read. But can I tell you that she's now living in York and she's yes. married to a professor? Yeah, did, yeah she read the, at, at the end, it said that, didn't it? it yeah, she brought out yeah. her. Yeah. yeah. So I, it's happy in the end. Yeah, yeah, she she it all goes well for her. She and, saw sense and got out. <laughs> yeah, well, she found a route out, didn't she? So, which oh, wasn't that easy. Then. I think oh. in the author's note at the end that I listened to, I think two of her brothers are living in Europe. Yes, or America. One, one of them's a work in Southampton, and where oh, are they? Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, one of them's yeah. in Southampton. Oh, and, wow. and the other two live in Europe as well. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it makes you realise how people can be hoodwinked and, and all the rest of it. And yeah. how much, how can so many people believe him for so yeah. long? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and that's yeah. that's the scary thing, isn't it? That, that I mean, it's a huge population. Even if you go back into the 50s and 60s during all of the, yeah. the troubles in there. Yeah, that's a huge number of people to be completely hoodwinked. Absolutely. Yeah. But, it, but yeah. it was a reign of it was a reign of terror. Also really, makes you realise you should be careful nowadays too. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's, but it, not, it was it's so, like, it's, sorry, it's like it's like nineteen eighty four without the technology. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I did see lots of similarities. Mel, sorry, what were you going to I'm say? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I... Um, I'm saying it was, a, it was a reign of terror, really. And actually, I did feel a bit naive for not having realized it and yeah. i did find it um, i did find it hard going the the, mm. the first i don't know two thirds of it but once it got more up to date were well, up to date with our main character's yeah. own life rather than her reporting on her grandmother's life and her mother's life mm. um you know it, it kind of became more of a page turner then um i i think and you know and and i, I really um, I'm glad I finished it yesterday. <laughs> finished it yeah. because of because of what I learned about the regime yeah. that I, I really hadn't appreciated. Mm. But for me, I could have I could have um, uh, learned that in say um, you know either the the book, but told let there was such a lot of names, dates, places, oh, details. Yes. <laughs> You yeah. know, and it kind of, you know, in the end, I kind of had to do a bit of skim reading, thinking, you know, well, I'll let it wash over me and it'll get to an interesting part soon. I noticed yeah. they had Wu Wuhan was mentioned. Absolutely. Yes, that, that yes, was interesting. I yeah. That. yeah, yes, it and was. I, I, was in, I was interested in the fact that I read it at school and I remember reading it for history when I was 11 or 12. Right. And I actually um, remembered more than I thought I was going to. Mm -hmm. Also, what I found quite interesting is um, it was obviously written in a lot of languages at the time. But it was until 1997 that they actually uh, did a copy in Chinese. Oh, right. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Isn't yeah, that an amazing thing that had happened? And been, it was like a secret, really, wasn't it? 
Yeah. If you're ready to score, did they do a shortened version of it? Did they take some of it out? Because I don't think I should be read by an 11 year old. <laughs> No, we read the whole book. Yeah, we read the whole book. Oh, oh gosh! Amazing. I have to admit, I found it. I I just found it quite. Um, it's very interesting. Yeah, I just yeah. I really did. I couldn't. You know, it I, it just flabbergasted me at times. I yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have, have to admit, admit, the harshness of life was astonishing. Yeah. And that the, yeah. the you know the things that people had to do had no choice yeah, just to, to survive do, just to survive and the you know the, the 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 physical not just the persecutions but the physical demands um re, you know yeah. put on people just to live yeah was astonishing I mean, life life was hard enough as it was without wow. the regime as well mm. yeah yeah, yeah. They, they, I mean, they, in a sense I'm glad I've read it but. Um, yes, but it, it, and I will finish it, but um, yeah, it was quite an eye opener. Um, they could, um, is it, go on, go on. They could uh, have, sorry, sorry. okay. Uh, for me, certainly the first, I suppose, six of the book, um, I had, it's just, just me, I had to get used to the fact that it was all reported events. There, there was no direct speech or no, and I'd just been reading it, listening to it at the same time, Neville Shoot, A Town Like Alice. And so interestingly, he's dealing with obviously real events, but a novel and a love story spun around it. And the, oh. gentle, the sort of gentleness of his prose sometimes, and the character of the solicitor telling the story, for me was so successful. I had, to, that's I think why I had to struggle with Young Chan and her reported speech, and as we we're all saying, the never-ending kind of horrors, you know. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think the the way she wrote it, and I and I and I I totally get what you say about the fact there was no direct speech in it. It's all yeah. and this happened and this happened and this happened. Do you think that's because she grew up during all of this carefully controlled, very aggressive? You yes. know. I mean, Lots of stuff where they could. Oh, they're amazed about the the fact that you were if you were married, you could still only entitled to spend twelve yes. days together. Yeah. My husband on the side thought that was an excellent idea, but yeah. I've met that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the beginning, I think when it was introduced, it was referred to as a living tapestry, which I thought was quite an interesting little phrase. Mm. Mm. That is interesting, isn't but it? You see, in in the society, there, there wasn't much encouragement of expression of emotion oh no um so you know in this in the telling of the story it was it was more factual than um you know giving us opportunity to get wrapped up in a, a character and care about a character mm. or two you know mm. she did occasionally that her mother was cross with her father because he was i mean he was a horrendous i thought the way he behaved to her mother you know not letting her go ride in the car and not letting yeah. her i thought he was a dreadful man but, yeah. well, he, but that was just the way he'd been mm. indoctrined, really, isn't it? He thought he was doing the right things. Yeah. Yes, he yeah. was a communist. Mm. So it's yeah. all very matter of fact. Yeah. It was written. But then after that... It's long, but it's very, very interesting. And I've recommended it to lots of people now. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I have to I say, Nikki, I most recommend they start with the, the last third of it, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I have to admit, it's it's always been, ever since I read it, ooh, probably the year after it was published, so early 90s, I have to admit, it's always, always, when anybody asks, you know, one of these things, they ask occasionally, what are your top 10 books? It's always, always been in the top 10 of my books yeah. since then. Not always number one. But it's always definitely been in the top 10 because it's just stayed with me all that time. And it was really interesting yeah. to, to go back and reread it, having yeah. learned a lot more about China since reading it. It was probably the first time I really had any thought about what had happened in China during the 20th century. Yes. But to read um, it again and just remind myself just how. Just so much in it, like, you know, children of, of, of 12 being yeah. red guards and going around and terrorising yeah. teachers. Oh, and yeah. then, you know, Granny having to go to hospital half an hour away on the bike when she was in pain and be walked yeah. home and, oh. 
Mm. Goodness. Mm. Yeah. And one one thing that fascinated me was because while we've all been reading it, obviously there's been the odd bit of news from Hong Kong at the moment. And I suddenly, I don't know what made me realise, but I Googled the some of the current Chinese leaders and they're a similar age to Young Chang. So I thought, well, they have, perhaps it partly explains some of the horrific treatment that is apparently going on in China at the moment because the leaders were young, young children and teenagers mm -hmm in all this ghastly era. And mm. the, emotional, the emotional repression mm. they suffered mm. um, an acceptance of dreadful events may explain something of China now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Now, a couple of, um, uh, a couple of months before we all went into lockdown, um, my daughter's at HTC, Hongding Tech, and they had some Chinese um, students come over and spend the week. <laughs> And they all were not allowed to give their real names. They all give them English names. And oh, she to told their real name. They weren't allowed to become pen friends or anything. And they weren't oh, in China. They have no social media or anything. They're not allowed on the internet or anything like we are. So yeah. they're quite strict and re regimed up there now. Uh, it is quite, quite severe, isn't it? I know um, a, a friend of one of my children went out there to teach English as a as a foreign language out there for a, six months a few years ago and like you say it, he, there was no internet there was no um no social media at all so he just disappeared for six months nobody heard from him and then suddenly came yeah. home again so, yeah. hi Supriya we're just chatting about the book how are you oh hello oh very stressed at the moment I'm, I'm okay now because I couldn't get through oh um, the, the one that Zoe sent me, the link didn't work. It just kept taking me back to calendar, which I didn't want. So, and then I must have pressed something and it rang her. And I thought, who is it ringing? I thought it was ringing open side, but she answered and I recognized her voice. And I said, is it Zoe? And she said, yes. I was like, oh goodness, I didn't mean to ring you at all. <laughs> um, but she realized I was having problems and she sent another one and that didn't work. And I phoned the office and I think you might get a message from OpenSight. And eventually Zoe sent me a text in a different format and that's worked immediately. So I'm relieved. Yeah. I was so looking forward to it and I missed half, well, 15 minutes of it, haven't I? Mm -hmm. oh, that, that's okay we were I mean we're just talking about the fact that and I'm glad you got here but and we're just talking about the fact that you know it was a very long book but my goodness did did wasn't there a lot of yes but it was such a page turner really I couldn't put it down oh. lots, of, lots of people were saying and that's exactly how I was the first time I read it the lots of people saying that the the, the third third so the last third of the book was possibly yes. better because she was report when she was referring to her own life rather than reporting anecdotally. All oh, right. Grandpa. I don't know. Um, I just found the whole book fascinating. I'll, I'll tell you about it when it, when it's my turn. So, um, so is that what everybody so far? What's happened in the fifteen minutes then? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and, about the of the book. Some some of us were talking about how we hadn't realised. You know, I mean, I for one felt a bit naive that I hadn't realised that all this was was going on. Know. You know, in such oh my god, history. I know the world doesn't know half no half no. of it, does it? No, mm. Mm. no. I mean, you know, had, had vague notions, but but nothing. No, no. I did have an idea because I must make a uh, have a make a confession because this is not the book I thought I had read. I had read something very similar, but yeah. that was by Pearl S. Buck. So I thought <gasps> I'd read this, but it's not that one. Um, so I had an idea about the history of, of what happened and everything, but not in such detail. Uh, this was a much better book. It really was. Supriya, you have to tell me which Pearl S. Buck book it was. I can't I'm... remember the title. I, <laughs> it, it was one of her better ones, shall we say, because I've never read her again. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. I don't get on with her books, but uh, I read another one about a Chinese um, his historical one set in the 18th, 19th century. Uh, it's just her style of writing. I don't get on, so I haven't read any more. Okay. Yeah, it's about, it's set in the, the sort of period where they killed millions of their own people. Same sort of thing. Yeah. They seem to do it a lot, don't they? I was quite glad I hadn't read this book before, so it's nice to read it afresh, yeah. you know. Yeah. I had um I had an email just so you all know from um Peter. Now Peter couldn't make the last 
the first meeting because he had a prior commitment and it turns out he couldn't meet to make today because um he's a mature student and it's his last day of lectures so obviously that takes priority but he yes. said um, some thoughts on wild swans i learned so much from it about china the culture politics social values i wasn't too sure about the first section about her grandmother because the people seemed very two-dimensional either good or bad but mostly bad so i guess she had to rely the author had to rely on the account she'd been told so yeah, he he said pretty much the same as a lot of us have said. You know, it's it got more interesting potentially as she started to recount things that she could remember from either her childhood, her mother's story, or you know her story going forward. So, although I did find some of the the, the, the grandmother stories, the whole thing about the bound feet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, um, but they were fascinating her grand that actually the two favorite characters in the book are dr shea and her grandmother yeah i like well, them I both actually i think mm. they had more humanity more um, sympathy and pity than any other subsequent um people really okay i like the author but she's done some things that annoyed me as well but uh, yeah they they were my favorite characters in the book they, they, you know, they had yeah. so much affection for, for their family and, and everything. So, do you think that's because they were fully fledged, um, established adults with families before the communism regime? Yeah, came I from? think so. Probably, I, think I don't know, but it's their choice. The, the father wasn't really a very nice man to begin with because he had this all this communist zeal going through his blood and to neglect his own wife. And I mean, you don't have to be brought up in a certain way to do that or not do that. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm judging too harshly, but who knows? No, you're I think you're too. No, you're allowed to. Go on, Mark. Sorry. Yeah, I think Supriya's spot on. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. And what did he get for all that in the end? I know he couldn't have. You know, if he said no, he probably would have been killed straight away anyway. But still, he, there, there mm. were other communist people doing stuff for their family at the same time that he was rejecting. I mean, some some were just downright inhumane uh, refusing mm -hmm. hospital treatment and making her walk when she wasn't yeah. very well and you know there were lots of things that uh, I, I didn't agree with at all and even her, she wasn't a really good mother at all and she kept having children I thought why are you having five children you're not really maternal I know they both changed after certain well, things did. had happened yeah I mean she did um, have um, one of them she um had a termination didn't she? yes yes i but think she it's couldn't the fifth have one. another termination that's right for three years yeah uh which i think is is good whatever government said that because of health reasons that's yeah. quite a good thing yeah. to do but of course you know that again is a form of coercive control isn't it yeah. it is yeah yeah mm. but i didn't Can't know breathe whether that was asking. because of her health and no, I think it's a government a policy. You can't have an abortion uh, oh, right. within three, two abortions within three years. Yeah, right, right. Mm. Well, there was also, there was... China's still quite a communist party. Oh, well, a country, gosh, yeah. really. I mean, it probably says it isn't, but it is. Oh, it's and, worse and... than ever now, except yeah. they use technology yeah. to uh, control you. Every They even control your thoughts if they could, because technology has made it easier for the government to do it. And yeah. these days, people disappear without a trace and you never know where they are. So it's, it's going to be happening for a long time, I think. That's what I said earlier, Sophia, about 1984. I don't know if you've read that. I have a long time ago. Yeah, yes, I think it's a similar sort of thing. It's a lot. It's a lot worse, though, isn't it, um, Mark? Yeah. Real well, life is a lot worse than that. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. yeah. But I think it must be like that in North Korea now. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yes, I'm sure it is. Yeah. Worse than China. Um, it made you feel lucky to live in a country like this, didn't it? Yeah. I know it's unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Does yeah. take perspective? Yeah. Well, nothing to protest about, really, have we? No, we haven't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, those children really didn't have childhoods. I mean, no, the, they no, didn't. The, the recounts of the, of well, the family home, you'd never quite know who was in it or out of it or 
or where it was going to be or what it was going to have yeah. in it, you know. And they were separated yeah. from their that parents most of their exactly. young life. Well, and yeah. I felt so sorry for those two babies, you know, where, it, where she says um, that, that the, the brother, one, one went to, they both went to these nurseries. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And one didn't want to speak to any adults, and the other one mm -hmm. was just like a wooden puppet. Oh, yeah. it was heartbreaking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. could yeah. any parents do that? To the, that? There's downright child abuse, human mm -hmm. right abuse, everything. They'd all be in prison mm -hmm. now if they did it now. And their poor little brother, the age of six, was accused of raping yeah. the other yeah. little girl. Oh, yeah. you know, oh, how preposterous is that? It's just, I just couldn't believe that book from start to finish. I, you know, I was permanently in disbelief and, and horror and, yeah. and stomach yeah. churning. Oh, it's just, it said it contains some violence. I said, it's start to finish. It's just pure violence. There wasn't, yeah. there wasn't much else, was there? <laughs> do, you, do you all think that those three women, I mean, I, I quite liked it from a feminist point of view that she focused on the women in the family. I know that there was a lot about her dad and her brothers and stuff. But it was the three generations of women. Mm. Would yes. you would you use the word brave for any of them? Do you think right. they were brave? the only one I'd use brave is for the grandmother? Yeah. Not well, I, don't know. I think the mother was quite brave in the way she would not. Um, you know, she went through a lot, and yet she wouldn't denounce her husband, was she? No, that's true. But yeah, I think you couldn't be brave, really, if you wanted your life. Could you yeah. in some circumstances? That, 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 that's mm. a really good point, yeah. You would have been crushed if you were brave. Yeah. 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 When I was reading yeah. the, when I was reading But she went through a lot. Oh, I don't know how she survived, especially when I was reading no. about her medical condition. I thought I'd be long dead. I don't know how she survived five yeah. years of um, tumour in her womb, bleeding and yeah. having to yeah. endure all that physical yeah. torture and <laughs> still be alive. That's just, yeah. just amazing. I can't believe yeah. it. Claire, what were you going to say? I was going to say one thing I was thinking, oh, we don't have that here at all. No. We know what you like, but you can't actually, because look at J.K. Rowling. She was... Terribly, uh, you know, the publisher dropped her, and then the woman who wrote the Gruffalo books said, "Well, I think J.K. Rowling didn't say anything so terrible." Her publisher dropped her straight away. So we can see that these things can happen even in a country like ours. Not yeah. really like the same and men, but people can be sort of coerced into being a little bit on that level. I think. Yeah, yeah, I can see what you mean. Yeah. Or and punished it, and for their is, views, anyway. Yeah, and it was, and it, that's the scary thing, isn't it? How much the 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 regime managed to completely coerce these. Exactly. People. How yeah. do they do that? You know, co controlling <coughs> one point something billion people, or even several million people at the time. Yeah. How mm -hmm. is it possible that everybody did what they wanted them to do? Oh, yeah. It's just okay. fear, it isn't it? Fear. They were and fear. so scared of not doing what he wanted. That they, 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 yeah. they one, word, one word for it is fear. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, fear is at the extreme. I mean, yes, I how he up. controlled everybody and how, I mean, I thought these are not human. When I was reading the book, I thought, am I reading a book about humans or it's some like alien culture that I don't recognize? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Part even, of even it. the most basic human I mean, even being down to what they wore. Control. Yes, hang on, hang yes. on, hang on, let's let Mel speak because Mel was saying something. Even the most basic human need, food, was so controlled that... Yeah. Um, you know, if any of us here were without food or without proper food for a week, you know, we'd, we'd um, shift our views, I'm sure. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's an essential. Um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, that and that was quite a key, a key part of it was was if you didn't if you didn't toe the line, you were excluded from food. Mm. Yeah. And it's killed. Yeah. Errol, you were going to say something. Sorry. Carol, were you going to say something? Sorry? No, I wasn't going to say anything. No. <laughs> no. I was just looking at the clock. <laughs> I've got I, I've, I've, just, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll be back. I've, okay. I've, read some, I've read some of the Holocaust books, and oh. that just proves how cruel the human race can be. 
Yes, you see, everybody mm. knows about the Holocaust and everybody thinks that Saddam Hussein was, was bad and everything. Do people know how bad it was in China and how many of their own people they killed? Yeah. Uh, and how many... Like a, it is like that Iron Curtain thing, isn't it, that we used to have between us and Russia? Mm. Mm. Well, Russia. Vivian, you were going to say something. Vivian, you've been trying to say something. Oh, it was, it was only to add to some of the points made about the... Um, extent to the horror because what i suppose amazed me was the given the size of the country which i'm still not sure i grasp properly but and the difficulties of transport and travel in the in the time she some of the time she's talking about that that makes it even more incredible i think and sort mm. of adds to the horror yeah yeah it does and they don't seem to be going across the border into the other countries or anything i, I still can't understand quite how he managed to control so many people in such a vast country, like yeah. you say. Yeah. And it was interesting. I found it interesting. I mean, I haven't quite finished it, so I will finish it over the weekend. But as she, as she gets towards more and more her story and she starts to have doubts about the communist regime and, and the leaders and everything, it takes a long time before she it actually the penny drops with her that it's mad. Yeah. I know. I thought, how on earth could you not have thought? But I, it I goes to show how yeah. carefully they were they were brainwashed. Controlled. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, Someone saying something? Who's that? Somebody's talking in the background. Yeah. Oh, that might have been my husband answering the landline. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, fair enough. He's allowed to do. He's allowed to do that. Vivian, he's in his own house. That's fine. Big brother <laughs> listening to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All all the husbands are um uh, getting in on the act now. <laughs> oh. Did it inspire anybody to read anything else about China? Did it did it inspire anybody oh, to think? I'm I'm trying to remember China. the. I'm trying. I don't to want remember. to talk about China for a while. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe in a while. <laughs> Go on, I'm, Vivian. I'm trying to remember the author, but I can't. But the title in the other book group I'm in, two or three years ago, um, somebody recommended the title was something like Balzac and the Little Chinese Semstress, or something like that and it's just purely the story of some um an, an intelligent um i think it's a pair of young men who were sent into the villages to be re-educated by the peasants as was part of mao's plan um and it's just a sort of very personal little story about living in the village and i won't tell you how balzac comes into it but it was quite Quite an intriguing little story, really. And a, although it's still dealing with these horrors, just a bit lighter. Mm. It was, um, it, I've just looked it up. It's, yeah, you're right. The, it's called Balzac and the Little Chinese Semstress. And it's by a, an author called, oh, I don't know, because it's Chinese, but Dai Siji, D-A-I-S-I-J-I-E. I'll email it around to everybody next week. Um, was and the, it, it's a far shorter read. <laughs> Most books would be. But <laughs> There's not many books that are 27 hours long. That's true. That's true. I'm just reading one that's 34 hours long, so oh, I won't oh, recommend God. it. Oh, What's that? What's that? David Copperfield. Oh, I haven't oh, read right. it, so I thought it's about time I remedied that error, so I'm reading it now, and I'm really enjoying it. If I had my way, I'd just keep reading it constantly. <laughs> it's really good. I didn't realise it was as long as that. It, no, I didn't realise it was as long as that. Oh, I never thought it was that long, but there we go. Oh. Yeah, Christmas, a Christmas Carol was only about 45 minutes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, was, that was written very much as a commercial thing, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. It's a serial thing. Calendar. Book Club. Today, 1400. Double tap to activate. Um, <laughs> Yung, Yung Chang's written quite. I didn't realise how many more books she she'd read she'd written. Um, oh, I mean, right. I, I've I've got one of them. She, her most recent book is called Three Chinese Sisters. So it's a very similar sort of thing, but it's three three actual sisters, one of whom married the leader of the 
is it the Kumitang that was before the Kumitang, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another of them was a, a, a senior uh, advisor to Mao, and the third sister, I think, she was something to do with the communist regime, if I remember rightly. I, I started reading it and then got deflected onto something else, but that's her most yeah. book. She's written loads of stuff about um, the, the more historical stuff, so all of the pro Chinese proverbs and, and, and what their meaning is to the Chinese society yeah. and uh, and all the little sayings that kept the chairman Mao mm. based on. So, so she's, I haven't realised quite how prolific she'd been. Um, and I didn't actually even realise that she still lived in the UK, which which is interesting. Yeah. Mm, I was a bit disappointed she didn't tell us more about herself because she concluded the book and there was an epilogue and she didn't say much about herself. So I wonder if we could Google her and see what who which, she's married to. And, you know, I'm just nosy. I just want to know about Claire, Claire, you were saying she's married to a professor. Is that right? She's yeah. married to an English professor. And then... Oh. If and they, brought, they produced a book about Mao because they wanted people to know more about Mao because even in mm. China, he's still quite revered. I mean, yes. they, they haven't really come to... And her book is not allowed. She was treated. Her book isn't allowed to be sold in China. Um, Sorry, her book's not sold in China? No, that's what she said. They're not allowed. Okay. Okay. No, I'd imagine it's still... Oh, I can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, according to Wikipedia... Her 832-page biography, so that's even longer than this one, of Mao, of Chairman Mao, Mao, The Unknown Story, was written by her and her Irish historian husband, John Halliday, and it was published in 2005. Oh, so, right. um, mm. Any takers? John Halliday. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've no, had I... enough of Mao for one lifetime. And I think, I think, I think, Mark, why don't we nominate you to read it for the group? And you can <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a plan. <laughs> I'm going to read it back to you, if you like. I might do if somebody gave me £10,000, I'll definitely read it. <laughs> it looks like she's written quite a lot. So she's written the book about Mao. She's also written one about the Dowager M Press. Is it Sixi? I, I can't pronounce Chinese names. Oh, is she, is she the famous? She's the famous empress. Yeah. yeah. Is that the a, only Chinese uh, woman em uh, lay, uh, empress? That's right. Yeah. Um, several hundred years ago, because I heard a program about her on Radio 4. There's yeah. a series called Chinese Characters I'm listening to at the moment, and, and they're covering a lot of Chinese people that you might have heard of or may not have heard of. Mm -hmm. and that's very interesting. Yeah, she this the, the book that um Young Chang's written was was about I don't know if it's the only empress, but she was she led China from 1861 until her death in 1908. So Ah no, um, that's the other one. Yeah, I've read a book about that as well, but I don't know if it's by Young <laughs> Chang actually. I've got, I've got a book on Jasmine my... something. Yeah, is that the one you've got, Jane? I can't remember to be honest. It's uh, it's been it's been there for years How did you there. become how did you become an emperor? Did you did you have to inherit it or did you uh, yes, usually you had to inherit it. But the one I talked about, the uh, really first Chinese empress ever, she actually killed her own baby and she um, made the king, she was a concubine and she killed her baby that she had with the king and made him believe that his wife, the queen, had killed it. So he denounced oh, her and executed oh. her and uh, she, through sheer determination rose to be emperor and she subdued all her you know opposition and so on so yeah wow. there there's quite something <laughs> i don't understand i'm sorry another um another aspect of, of the book was um the amount of kind of um well, you could say vindictiveness, but um, but it, it was all part of the regime, part of the way people were brought up, what was expected of them to 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 judge and to be really blatantly open and openly publicly judge mm -hmm. and condemn other people, and people would be um, you know denounced at meetings and mm -hmm. and yeah it was whereas you know that that's just so completely opposite to the way they were they, they were beaten written. up weren't they because the her mother and father always went to these denunciation meetings mm. and in some of them they were beaten up and the head was bent and 
yeah, and yeah. so on. Yeah, but, but even at a lower everything. level than that, you know, you're in, mm. in company, say in your group of students, you know, you would be judged for doing this or for doing that mm. very easily. Yeah, it was mob rule, wasn't it, to a certain extent? And it was, it was just so, so cruel, wasn't it? And oh, just. Eggshells, walking on eggshells all the time. Yeah. Mm. Look, how little they happened. valued life. Go on, yeah. Mark. I say, look what happened to the students on, on the square not so long yeah. ago. Yeah. 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 Protesting. Yeah. It was, uh... You mean well, the 1989 one? Oh, yeah. well, you remember the year. There yeah, Tiananmen Square. Tiananmen Square one, yeah. That's it, yeah. And you know what, I, I host um, Chinese students, uh, international students here in the UK, and um, they were told a very much different story about um, what happened in, in the square. Oh, and, um, oh yeah, she, of course. She, yeah, but it, it wasn't until she actually physically saw it, the anniversary on the, the UK news, that she really understood and realised what did really happen that day. And um, for the fact that she wasn't in the UK, she would have still believed what she had been told back home in China. So, yeah, so it's quite an eye opener. And bless her, she apologised for not believing us. And we said, no, well, you know, you're only going to believe what you're told. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, and um, she saw it for first hand herself and was totally shocked at uh, what had happened that day. Because yeah. Yang Chang refers to it in her epilogue, but she doesn't, I don't think she condemns it enough. Uh, she said, oh, these days they're more able to oppose the regime and openly condemn so-and-so. So, -and -so. so I, I thought that's not true at all. You can yeah, condemn no. it, but then you'll just yeah. disappear the, the following yeah. day, never to be seen again. Absolutely, because there are people at the moment Dis disappeared, aren't they? Yes, yes, mm. yeah. I heard a program right, about yeah. it. How many people have disappeared and unheard of last few months a, and years? Radio 4, there was a Radio 4 program the other day about the guy who founded Alibaba. Yeah, which Jack Ma. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, and yeah they, I heard they, that. And I think it was a podcast or something, but it said, where is Jack Ma? Mm. And he's mm. he's been disappeared, and they think undergoing sort of contemporary thought reform mm -hmm. and he's been seen since but he's much quieter and they've taken away his businesses mm -hmm. they're not even sure if that video is it's taken when they say it's taken though because it could be an old video that they've rehashed somehow you never True. know i wouldn't i wouldn't trust anything they say True. True. Yeah. yeah no i hadn't thought of that the best that they've made was the coronavirus and the pandemic and all the people they've hidden and killed and everything else. Mm. A very mm. sick country. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? You look at or looking at it right up to date with, like you say, Nikki, the whole coronavirus thing. You know, generally the the numbers that the Chinese are saying that they they've lost it, they're taken with a huge pinch of salt. That they expect oh, four thousand people or something ridiculous out of yeah. however many billion it is in there. Yeah. Yes, it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, mm -hmm. and the fact that you know they they that there was that one guy I can't think of his name, bless him, the doctor that sadly died that tried oh, to yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, and that he was silenced. Um, yeah, that and the porter or a lab person, and that she's still missing, isn't she? Yeah, when yeah. It, they hid her and nobody knows where she is. And somebody who criticised the government because his mum didn't get a hospital bed, he carried her around on his shoulders for six days and he criticised oh. the government and he's, he's, no one knows where he is now. Oh, he's God. gone. Mm. Terrible. And back in the, going back to the book as well, I mean, what that reminds me of also is that after, um, after the father died um it was really important to to get his um his uh what was written about him the official version of what was written about him not to be too negative because that would have generational impact on all his yeah. children mm -hmm. yeah um you know it wasn't just about how he lived his life what he believed in it, it was going to impact on the rest of the family yeah which again brings us back to the incredible control yeah mm -hmm. Uh, How can um, something that exactly? Well, hmm. Can we 
let's read something a bit lighter this time. <laughs> Well, I think Brenda is our choice, uh, our person who's choosing. To well, I was just going to say, I've I've got the choice of two. Uh -oh. uh, if you'd like something light relief, I don't know if it's too light, but has it? Ha would you like to read um, the Thursday Murder Club by oh, Richard yes. Osman? Yes. Now that is, it, it is quite light, but it it would be a good. In opposition to what we just read, <laughs> <laughs> that was serialized on radio, wasn't it? Recently, I've heard of yeah, it. it, it, it is it, there it, a film? No, no they haven't made it a film. The book only came out yeah. about two, three months ago. Oh, yeah, it was on Radio Four. Richard Osman. Yes, uh, yeah. Richard Osman wrote it. it, it, it it's got a very good pedigree because the um, Duchess of Cornwall had it in her book. Oh, there we are then. If it's good enough for the Duchess, it's good enough for us. <laughs> but it, uh, the one it's I was going recent, to um, the one I was, was going to suggest was was set in the um, sixteen sixty six in the Fire of London. I think it might be a bit sort of more. Oh, I love that! What's oh, it yes. called? What was it? <laughs> it was the Ashes of London by Andrew Taylor. Oh, oh right. that is very good. It is very. Right. Good. Oh, I'll look that up. Is it, it fiction or, or non uh, historic? It, it, it's it's non it's non it's it's fiction, but it's um it is extremely good. He, 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 I've I've read the two that came after it as well. But the, the, that Thursday Murder Club, do we know? Because you're saying that's very recent. Is that available from Talking Book? Oh. I would I would imagine so. It's um, I, I, I know it's available I've on got Audible. It from Audible so yes. It, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 so you can take your choice whether you want the light-hearted Richard Oseman one or the Andrew Taylor, which is an extremely good book. Like right, we'll go, we'll, go like around and we'll, we'll have a vote. So we'll start with Claire. Claire, because you, you <laughs> got the short straw last time. Which would you like? Ashes well, I, of London or Thursday? I, I, to be honest with you, I've read The Thursday Murder because I live in a very similar place. I live in a village exactly like the one that that set in so I obviously read it very quickly so personally I'd rather read the one about the fire because that's, um, that's it, fine it, it, Eileen what would you like to read uh the one about the fire of London right. interesting uh Vivian ashes of London yeah oh it's brilliant Nikki what which would you like I would have said the Thursday one but also Hi. Yeah, I would look the other one up too, so I'll probably end up reading both anyway. <laughs> Mark, Mark will give yeah. you a choice. Yeah. Which is, is it? Uh, how long is the book? The, <laughs> the, both both of them are about. Uh, I don't know exactly, but between ten and twelve hours. Oh, that's right. yeah. I, I, I like the sound of the ashes one actually. Yeah, it, it, I, th I think actually, I, I think the um, Thursday murder one it, is perhaps a little bit too light hearted. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll carry on. We'll let the others have a vote. Not that they're yes, making yeah. a difference looking at it, but Carol? <laughs> Carol, what? Um, I'd like to read both of them. So, um... You are allowed to. <laughs> I'm going to put you on, on both. Not China. Yeah. Now, which would you like? Uh, ashes, please. Okay, and Supriya, it really is an academic thing now, but I'll let you have your say. Which would you like? <laughs> Supriya? Oh, so sorry, I didn't hear. Um, uh, definitely Ashes of London. Because yeah. well, I did, I did listen to the other one. I didn't take to it much. Um, okay. Listened to no, a couple of episodes. Yeah. Well, that, that's interesting because even allowing for Carol having two votes and me not voting, <laughs> it's seven to two. So I think I think we're going for Ashes actually. So Ashes of London. Who's it by, Brenda? Andrew Taylor. Andrew Taylor. Okay, I'll find out if it's available. Are in or somewhere mm -hmm. it, well I, I got it I always get it through audible yeah I'll see if it's on I, I will What's I that? will double check that it's on, on on um talking books as well I'll check it's on all formats so that people can get it lovely um, thank, thank you Jane that's good um just going very back very quickly back to um wild swans just just something that you said Brenda about about ashes of London is um, they said, I read somewhere, and I can't remember where I read it, but somewhere that Yung Chang with Wild Swans was the first person who 
almost created a genre of books, which is set an autobiography, but with very much fictional elements to it. So it's that sort of mishmash between bits of fiction and descriptive writing, plus mm. thing, historical accounts of her life and her family life. So, so actually, it's quite a quite an interesting thought, and, and you picking up on the fact that you know Ashes of London. It's based on facts, but it's a fictional thing. It's, it's, it's funny you should say that, Jen, because I was wondering what would you class this as autobiography or historical fiction? Uh, but it's not fiction, though, is it? It's uh, uh, what really yeah. happened. Yeah. yeah no, well, it's, but it's, it's not based on, on history. I, I mean, it, it is actual accounts, isn't it? So it's got mm. yeah. to mm. be autobiographical, really. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Can somebody tell me what this autobiography Audible is um, it's, Amazon. Amazon. it's Amazon. It's run by Amazon. Yeah, and how do you get hold of it then? Um, well, yeah. through Amazon. Go on Amazon. You have to subscribe to it, don't you? Or yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. have to pay so much a month. I, 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 I have one book a month and then sort of sometimes buy three yeah. extra ones or something like yeah. that. I'm not on Audible, so... Yeah. But I mean, if it's on there, it, it's obviously a, a talking book anyway. So I, I would imagine yeah. it's with the other people, other firms you should, or whatever. You, you could always try Borrow Box. You, yeah. won't, get it on, you won't get it on Borrow Box. No. No. Um, but I, I, if, if it had been, I would have done because it's free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's the Hampshire Library thing. I, I bought it on Audible. I have to try the R&IB then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be on RNIB. I'll oh, give them a ring, Mark, and see if it's there. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, Eileen, I'll email round details about Audible. I have to admit, it's not something I use. My husband uses it a lot, and he, like Brenda, has a subscription for one book a, a month. one book a month. Yes, but but he says they're very good because if you start reading something, he read. Oh, I can't remember now what it was, but it was. It was when you the, buy it, and you keep it. I mean, I've got it now for the next I twenty got, years over 300 but if you don't like it you can ring them up and they'll take it back and give you a credit back if if it's mm. within a, a week yeah. yeah there is a time limit on it and then you can swap There's it out for something. Limit, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. my husband did that he was reading one of the i can't remember which crime writer it was but it was a crime re writer was reading it themselves and he said that his voice was so dull yeah that he, he just pulled it off I, so, I, have a, I have occasionally returned them, not very often, but once yeah. in a blue moon. Yeah. yeah. So it's by prescription, subscription, is it? Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I think it's eight ninety nine a month. Yeah. But and, I think and it's seven ninety nine a month. Then, then I, I can buy. I buy. Um, sometimes I buy three extra, but you get three for eighteen pounds. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you spread that over, however, whenever you want to use it, sort of thing. I, but I, mean, I get one credit a month. Yeah. In the early days, I can't remember what, what my query was, but I um, I googled phone um, audible. I actually got a phone number and a real person on the end. Brilliant. It was, it was yeah. extremely, extremely helpful. Yeah, brilliant. It's the only it's the only place I've ever phoned when you get somebody who really cares what you say and yeah. understands what you say and helps you. I think they're great on the. Yeah. Um, what format but they have you... got a very good choice i mean far better than borrow box yeah, yeah. yeah. What format do the audible books come in then how, how do you get them on the app on the you can have an app yeah. on your phone on your phone or on your kindle or on your ipad yeah. or yeah. On your yeah. laptop whatever right so you'd have to read it on your on, on your phone or yeah or your yeah but well, the readers are usually very good they are. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a fantastic library. I mean, I'm really, at the moment, I'm listening to Timothy West doing Anthony Trollope, and he's so brilliant. Oh, I mean, that long books, I mean, they go on for 30 hours. But yeah. this, I put them on at night when I'm in bed, and sort of, I have to do it for half an hour, because sometimes I go to sleep before the half hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, there are um, worse ways to fall asleep than listening to Timothy West, to be fair. It's lovely. <laughs> and on the on the same point about very good readers, when Mark mentioned R and I find those those readers fantastic. 
they are fantastic because they are professionals. They're mostly yeah. actors, yeah. actresses, yeah. professional. I mean, this book, for example, Wild Swans was read by Di, Di Langsford and she is brilliant. Yeah. All her pronunciations, you must know Chinese, I, I reckon. Yeah. She's very, very well good. Read, yeah, well yeah. yeah. There's also uh, a group of books. I was thinking with, with the uh, uh, listening to the books, could you not listen to them on the Alexa as well? Yes. Yes. It's not very good, and she's not very good. She gets very confused. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't. It doesn't take a lot to get Alexa confused. No, it? it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you listen a bit on Alexa, and then go into listen on the iPad or something else, and then she gets it all muddled. They, they, they do um, free books on Alexa as well every month. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Is that the Kindle books, really. Well, how do you get that? What, you just ask, ask Alexa. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alexa, what three books are there this month? Great. May is the fifth oh. month of the year. Oh. Mark. It, it, it helps if they... Mark. Alexa, stop. Mark, you've just upset yeah. my Alexa. She's answering you. <laughs> I've just been told that uh, May is the fifth month of the year for some yeah. reason. Yeah, that's good to know in case you didn't yeah. already. It's that's when, not when she says something like, Thank you for saying that. Nobody said that to me before, and I think I haven't yeah. said anything about it to you. <laughs> um, can I just... He usually says, I don't know that one. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah that's quite common. <laughs> can I just. <laughs> can, can I, I just... Sorry? Can oh. I just tell you briefly? about a little thing that happened when friends gave us an Alexa, um, oh, five years ago. And so our granddaughter was then, I think she was four, and her brother was six. When they came to stay, um, when Alexa was new, of course, they were thrilled, and we were watching them and laughing. And Penny suddenly said, Alexa, set a duck alarm at midnight. Well, we, oh. we, all, we, no, we all laughed. Nobody thought of cancelling it. And so that, that night, in the middle of the night, I was suddenly, <laughs> suddenly aware. Quack, quack. My husband, quack. Yeah, oh, my, husband, my husband was trying to slip out of bed without disturbing me, creeping across the bedroom floor. And as he did it, I heard in the distance, quack, quack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Technology is very useful, but it does have some drawbacks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've got our next book. Um, we, now we've got a date. Now, Supriya, we, we were talking before you joined about maybe making it, um, say, the first Friday of every month rather than, as we originally said, every That six. would be so much easier. Yeah, it yeah. would be so yeah. much easier. You schedule anything in your life every six months, every... Uh, six weeks but i'm glad you let us know way in advance so we you know we don't forget the date yeah no that's fine so so, so if, if we go for the now the problem we've got and it's not necessarily a problem is that on the 4th of june which is the next first friday of the month i, mm. I i've been given the day's leave so i'm not in that week oh so, okay um, <laughs> so i can find someone else to to sort it all out for you and to meet with you or we can just put it back a week and meet, meet on the 11th of June day for the, this month. We'll on the oh, why don't we start the mm, do the six weekly and then one after we start monthly then? Why don't you just make it the 11th from yeah. that time? Yeah, that'll be five weeks, so it'll be a good compromise, and then we'll do it from there on in. Is that, is mm. that okay? Yeah, okay. The 11th. Um, the 11th. I've, I'll have to send apologies because I'm in, in Brixham with our son and his partner. Nice. Oh, you could join from there. No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I, could try to, I could try to. <laughs> no, I think if you're, get, if you're getting to see family after the year we've, we've all had, yeah. I think that's far more important, yeah. Well, and actually, well, funny enough, the week before is when I'm seeing my sister, so yeah. Well, may I just email in a, some brief comments on it? Of course you can. Absolutely, no. that'd be brilliant. Yeah. No. Fabulous. Okay, so we're meeting on the 11th of June, and I'll get that set up on a, with a Zoom, and I'll email that all round to everybody. Um, uh, can I just check the title before we go? It's Ashes of London, is it? Yes. Is that right, Brenda? Ashes of London? Yes. Yes. Andrew Taylor. That's yeah, nice. I'll, I'll, I'll email it round either later today or, or first thing on Monday with a summary oh. of it. 
Jane, um, can you give us your email address? Yeah, uh, definitely. If, if you want to make a note of it, it's, it's ever so easy. It's Jane, which is J-A-N-E, yeah. at opensite.org.uk. Is it all um, lowercase? All lowercase. Opensite.uk? .org.uk. .org? .org, .org. Yeah. .org. Yeah. .org, yeah. O-R-G. .uk, right. Yeah, because we're not a company, we're a charity, so it's, we have a, an org instead of a co. <laughs> now, and before thing, you go... Oh, yeah, sorry, go on. I was going to say, Spree, the other thing we need to do is rather than just springing it, because I was very conscious I sprung it on Brenda fairly short notice and, and definitely mm, short notice mm. for Claire. I must admit, it nearly gave me heart failure yesterday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, Brenda, you can blame my colleague Nikki. She drew your name out of the hat. I made her draw it out. I didn't want responsibility for it. I made her do it. I, I didn't mind, but... I was sat there thinking, I wonder what they're going to choose next. <laughs> Up to you. But in sitting in the background, I'm hoping Debbie's done another of her clever, whizzy, spinny things with people's names on. Mm. Oh, she's sharing the screen. And now we can spin it and see who's going to choose the one after that. Yeah, that would be useful, yes. Are you ready? Yeah, go on then, Debbie. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Eileen! Right. Eileen's name came up next. Come on, Eileen. Okay. Come on, Eileen. <laughs> She's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen, I can't hear you. Say again. I've got the book in my Check if R and I B do it first. Lovely. That's brilliant. Yeah, thank you. I have read it. It's, it's a story. It's fiction, but it's a story. It's a oh, that sounds good. What's that? It's fiction, but it's got it's it's fiction, but it's it's part fact. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, no, that sounds brilliant. But don't say any more, otherwise we'll get confused and we'll read the wrong book for this. <laughs> <laughs> We'll all get very confused. confused. Yes. It doesn't take much to confuse me. Okay. So um, I don't know if anybody's got anything else to say. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, I got your email about the Hampshire uh, funding for women's, visually impaired women. I can't oh, yeah. read the... Um, the, photo, what do you call no, it, the no, link uh, yeah, it says was, image now so i couldn't read yeah. went to the website but it wanted cookies but because i said no it wouldn't let me read anymore that's so. fine supriya you're not the first person to to, to <laughs> make that observation i'm blaming zoe she devised the the image so <laughs> her entirely. um supriya i will i will email you when i get back up to my desk in a minute i'll email you a, yeah, sure. a, trans a transcript of it so you know what it's about. lovely okay okay no worries um I just wanted to say before we finish to Claire, who has sent me so many emails during the last six weeks saying, oh, I feel bad. It was a big book and I, it kind of caught me on the hop and I don't want to put people off and everything. I think we can safely say, Claire, from the discussion, you didn't put anybody off. Uh, right. You chose a brilliant first book. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, thank and thank you, thank you, Brenda, for choosing what sounds like a really good one for our next one. So that's I'm, I'm very grateful. I, I really enjoyed reading it. I'm glad I read it. Yeah. Yes, I would highly recommend it to other people as well. It's yeah. very informative. It is. Yeah. I'm picking it's up on Nikki's. Read. Yeah, I'm picking picking up on Nikki's comment about reading it when she was at school. My now 15 year old is doing GCSE history, and part of that is doing Chinese 20th century history. And I I have been waving my book. It's falling apart, <laughs> but I've been waving after telling her you are going to read this over the summer. So. I'm yeah. not the most popular mum at the moment. But Good luck with that. We'll get <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's um, five past three. It's Good been definition. really Gosh. lovely to hear what people thought about Wild Swans yeah. um, and, and are excited about the next book. Yeah. So um, thank you all for, for your time yeah. this afternoon. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, have a lovely weekend. I don't know that the weather's going to do us proud, but do, no. do your best to enjoy it anyway. I we'll think Sunday's, Sunday's going to be nice. Oh, there we are then. And, yeah. and, and tomorrow we'll do the gardens a lot of good, so I suppose yeah. we should be Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. need a brolly, brolly tomorrow. Mary Poppins. That's it. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, 
just final comment. Think of me tomorrow because every time there's rain forecast, we live in Milford on Sea and we miss it every time. So <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna regret saying that. I was gonna say <laughs> who, was it, who lives on in Milford on Sea? Vivian. Oh, I do. Vivian. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'm in <laughs> You're in Hyde, ah. Yeah. Oh right, right. Not far away, and we keep missing it too. <laughs> I have to admit, it does sit that, that part of the coast. I we we holiday in um, Mudderford, and I have been known to be sitting on the beach in Mudderford um, and watching the rain come across the whole of yeah. the rest of Hampshire, and I'm sunbathing. So the Isle of, it, the Isle of Wight saves us a lot. It does yeah. save an awful lot, doesn't it? Thank God for the Isle of Wight. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, lovely to see you all. Have yeah. a lovely weekend. Bye for now. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Right, take care, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.